Hello, video game fans and YouTubers alike. My name is Joel Glover, and welcome to It's All Pun and Games. So as you can see on the screen, it's a little different from the usual start screen. The thing is, I'm on my Nintendo Switch's news channel, because I'm going to do a reaction to the Nintendo Direct that was shown yesterday, but I never got a chance to see. So... Let's get into it. This time I'm doing something different with my headphones and uh, microphone as I don't have to hold a controller. June 2019. Hi everyone. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. You just got your first look at the brand new sequel to Super Mario Maker, which we're of course calling Super Mario Maker 2. There will be brand new features, and many new elements are in development as we speak. So please stay tuned. Alright, next, let's cover today's Nintendo Switch headlines. For the first time in 10 years, the Marvel Ultimate Alliance series returns with a new four-player action RPG and an all-new original story. Assemble your ultimate dream team from a huge cast of Marvel superheroes, from the Guardians of the Galaxy to the Avengers, Defenders, X-Men, and more, to stop Thanos and the Black Order from unleashing cosmic chaos. You can play together in TV mode, locally on up to four systems, or online and get closer to the action with a dynamic zoomed in heroic camera. And speaking of heroic, I it's time I to go higher, cool. further, faster with Marvel's ultimate cosmic protector, Captain Marvel. Wield her power <laughs> against those that would do harm to the universe. As characters level up, they'll learn skills you can use on the fly. In Carol Danvers' case, literally. In addition to basic attacks and skills, each hero has an alliance extreme attack, their most powerful move. Whether you join forces with friends locally or online, take teamwork to unprecedented levels as you creatively combine hero skills into synergy attacks. Your most That's powerful attacks cool. can even be combined into an Ultimate Alliance Extreme Attack. The Ooh. team of possibilities will be off the charts when Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order launches exclusively on Nintendo Switch this summer. Pretty interesting. Welcome back, Box Boy. I'm not a big fan of Fox Boy, but... Get ready to unload some boxes and have fun doing it. The critically acclaimed puzzle series Box Boy is coming to Nintendo Switch for the first time. This brand new game is tightly packed with tons of content, including brand new puzzles and new features. We fit something else in, too. This time, two players can box it up together. To restore peace on the box planet, you must work as a team, solve puzzles, and beat those stages. 
After completing the story, you can access a whole separate adventure starring Cutie, the tall one. Hmm. In all, there are 270 stages to beat. That's the highest in the series to date. Use your brain boxes to think outside the box and lead our heroes to the goal. Box Boy and Box Girl will unload on Nintendo Switch April 26th. That's an interesting concept, but... The ultimate spring update. Ooh. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is about to spring forward with the version 3.0 update this spring. What are we adding, you ask? You'll just have to wait to find out. Dang it. Remember, Joker is a part of Challenger Pack 1. He's secretly been preparing for battle, and his moment will finally come before the end of April. In other words, this year, springtime is the time to smash. <laughs> and don't forget, new Super Smash Bros. series amiibo figures are on the way too. There's even more to explore in Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. It's never too late for a journey I loved that game like when it was on Wii U. the Captain Toad Treasure Tracker game. In fact, we have two new announcements for the Nintendo Switch version. After a new update, all courses will support two-player co-op. Maybe you won't be so nervous with someone at his side. Two heads are better than one, and an extra set of hands goes a long way. This free update will be available later today. And some paid downloadable content is coming. We're adding in 18 new challenges that'll see you travel to courses. From sunken ships to a kingdom of sweets. And achieving Whoa. objectives in existing courses. Oh gosh. Captain Toad and Toadette must obtain the shiny crowd in each course, all of which can be played alone or with a second player. Hmm. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker's special episode will be available for purchase as soon as, well, later today, giving you early access to one of the courses. The rest of the content will launch on March 14th. If you don't have the game yet, look out for a digital bundle available on Nintendo the Shop is, later today. Is it available it for the, the 3DS too? And gives you I don't have Captain it for the Toad 3DS, but special episode I want to get available. it though. And my answer is not. Steal yourself for old school action in an all new Gothic castle. The side scrolling action of yore shall rise once more in Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. And so. The young lady Miriam, host of the Alchemist's Curse, must use her unwanted gifts to slay the demons wrought by the curse's original host, Jeebel. This kind of looks like it's a With Castlevania these powers, game. She can steal the abilities of enemies, bend gravity to her will, cool. and dart about Jeebel's castle at lightning speed. Here, the laws of reality and 2D side scrollers don't apply. Throughout the castle, what? a trove of side quests, deadly tasks, and small touches flesh out the campaign. Your body is covered with weird decorations. Beyond the main story, you can dig deep into character customization, subquests, and more. Stop the fall of man at the hands of demons, and don't be afraid to show them your dark side. Ooh. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night emerges from the shadows this summer. Again, that kind of looks like it would be a Castlevania game. The time has come to build a new world and take on the children of Hargon. Oh, on empty island, you'll ally yourself with the mysterious Malrock and defend your world from monstrous forces. Huh. Enlist the villagers to help rebuild and fight alongside you in the story mode. Or unite with three other builders to create your own island in local co-op or online. You'll gather materials. Craft objects and tools, and reach new heights. I only got to play the you can demo for Dragon Quest Builders. Now you can dash, glide, play in first person, explore underwater, and warp all over the new retro-inspired map. Huh. If you own the previous game on the Nintendo Switch system, you can craft the legendary builder's outfit hmm. and the Dragon Lord's throne. Hmm. Dragon Quest Builders 2 launches on Nintendo Switch July 12th. I do want the full there Dragon Quest Nintendo Builders Switch game headlines to come. before I play First, Dragon a Quest word Builders Mr. Koizumi. Well, how's it looking? Next. We have a new announcement for that classic RPG series. Please take a look.
There are RPGs, and then there's Dragon Quest, the series that defined the genre. And the latest entry is charging onto Nintendo Switch in full force, pairing the series' beloved style and perfectly balanced battles with the most impressive scope and elaborate story in series history. Where there is light, darkness follows, for no one does this ring truer than the Luminary, the boy that prophecy says will succeed the last hero and protect the world from a terrible end. In an odd twist of fate, the boy's royal birthright is snatched from him. On the day he becomes an adult, he finally discovers his true heritage and the powers that make him the luminary. Hmm. When he goes to the king of the largest kingdom for guidance, he is dubbed Darkspawn. So begins the perilous journey of a hunted hero and the ragtag band of adventurers who will join him on his quest to set things right. Together, they'll explore the towns and terrain of the sprawling, detailed land, Erdrea. Monsters roam free of random encounters. When you engage them, choose your strategy wisely in turn-based battles. You must know when to attack, when to, attack, when to use magic, and when to switch your party members' orders. As you do, you'll earn skill points which can be used to teach party members attacks, spells, and improve their abilities. That's you can cool. also collect materials so you can forge weapons, armor, and accessories. Cool. Looking for an item? Then help people out in side quests. Or try your hand at the casino. Or horse racing. <laughs> Erdrea is full of surprises like these. And this time, the player has the power to choose on the fly between the land's gorgeous HD vistas and the 2D 16-bit glory of all. Whoa. This is also the first version of the game with fully orchestrated field and battle tunes. If you want, you can change between the original sound and the new one whenever you want. And you can also experience the journey with English or Japanese audio. <laughs> oh my! First-time players and veterans should also look forward to new stories. Each sees one of the main cast members stepping into the spotlight, shedding new light on hidden truths. This hero's adventure has truly leveled up. Mm. Dragon Quest XI-S, Echoes of an Elusive Age, Definitive Edition. I'm really Launching get exclusively that game, on Nintendo Switch. And I'm not much of a Dragon Quest player. While we just announced the addition of these new stories, there will be more new information to share in the future. Please look forward to learning more. For now, let's continue with more Nintendo Switch headlines. A Disney Zoom Zoom game like you've never seen before. That looks cringy. Disney toys took the world by storm, and now they're ready for an after hours party at the toy store in Disney Zoom Zoom Festival. Play with your friends and family in a wide variety of competitive and cooperative games that support up to four players. You can play online as well with players from around the world. And you can't mention Disney Tsum Tsum without talking puzzles. Connect matching Tsum Tsum to clear them and set a high score. The game also features a two-player mode for local and online competitive matches. Disney Tsum Tsum Festival will steal our hearts in 2019. We're picking up a distress call in the Atlas Star System. But this time, it's far from friendly. In fact, it's none other than Star Wars' infamous lieutenants, Andrew Oikini, Pigma Dengar, and the Great Leon. Now Peppy, Falco, and Slippy have no choice but to hunt them down, like the animals they are. 
in a challenging new series of missions you can only find in the spring update of Starlink Battle for Atlas. Every member of the Starlink team Starlink has their own Battle special Atlas. pilot ability and skill tree. Plus, each pilot can take on any of the new missions and also Fox's missions from the base game. It's time for a game of seek and destroy. But don't expect Wolf to play fair. Look forward to news on the rest of the additional content, such as starship races and faction missions, so you're ready when the Star Fox team joins the Starlink Battle for Atlas update cool. this April. A heartfelt fantasy adventure and pops I've heard up nothing once but again. Bad stuff about this. Another season, another reason to wield weapons and spells against monsters. Good morning. It is about to be fall. Interact with townsfolk daily. Grow vegetables and fruits at the farm. Hmm. Hook some oh fish. Gosh. Cook up a storm. Or even raise monsters. <laughs> this fantastical circle of life will keep you coming back for more in Rune Factory 4 Special, fully remastered for Nintendo Switch. Battle alongside townsfolk, and before long, you may become more than just friends. What? See what the heart-pounding newlywed life has in store for you, exclusively in this new version of the game. Rune Factory 4 Special will be ripe for the playing later this year. And... We can finally confirm that Rune Factory 5 is in development. Look forward to more info in the future. Soon, a time will come to slay monsters and rescue lost souls before those souls become monsters. In this action RPG from the developers of I Am Setsuna and Lost Sphere, step into a realm built upon the tenets of reincarnation. Its people lead repressed lives, forbidden to mourn the loss of loved ones. To uphold these tenets, Kagachi must travel between the living world and the beyond to rescue lost souls from a terrible fate, becoming monsters. When battling these creatures, the lost souls you've rescued can manifest within you, granting you new powers. Each soul's powers are different, so you must choose the right soul for the situation at hand. In this deep single-player campaign, there will be many battles. You will fight, and you will become stronger. Those who fall to grief are lost and the lost don't reincarnate. The very foundations of reincarnation will begin to crumble when Oninaki launches in summer 2019. Cars, robots, and Yoshis in a world of crap. You know what that means? Yoshi's crafted world is almost here. This time, we'd like to put the many facets of these crafty courses on display. As Yoshi, you'll go rafting. Race solar cars and tear through the sky on a plane. Nice shot, Yoshi. Hey, that robot's pretty huge for a miniature. Even at this scale, you'll have some challenging bosses to wrangle. Oh, Using in game coins you've racked up, you can collect crafted costumes. If you wear one, really it'll offer a bit of protection from enemies. World. There are more than 180 of these costumes and some of them can be tricky to get your hands on. Later today, we'll release a demo which lets you play through the first course. The Yoshi's Crafted World game will finally hatch on March 29th. We have more Nintendo Switch headlines coming up, but first, another update from Mr. Koizumi. If you're wondering what I have How's in front of so me, it's far? a from Next, one of my costumes the latest installment in one of our that I used to uh, cosplay as my favorite video houses. game characters. Please, have a look. It's Vulcan. Ooh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. I'm really excited for this game. Oh my. What could have brought you here? <laughs> Dang it. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. 
In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000 year old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. No, dang it. I hate it when it buffers. So anyway, uh, a cousin of mine made a costume of, for me of a Fire Emblem character. In fact, he's my favorite Fire Emblem character, and his name is Mark. And I have his version of Falchion. In fact, I've had this prop next to me in, in my other two videos, but they it was off camera. So yeah. I felt like pulling it out for this uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses trailer. Let's see if it will... Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. In the Fire Emblem Three Houses game, you are the hero the world needs. You start out as a mercenary traveling with a group led by your father, Geralt. After an unexpected incident reveals an unknown power hidden within, you'll travel to Garrick Mock Monastery, where you'll receive an offer to teach at the Officer's Academy. Around that same time, you alone begin to see a mysterious girl named Sothis, who appears within your mind. Garrick Mock Monastery lies at the center of three large territories. It is the home base of the Church of Saros, the main religion of Fodlan as well as the Knights of Saros. Not only does the church serve to maintain order in Fodlan, its monastery also houses the Officers' Academy. Those who train there will go on to shoulder the future of Fodlan. The Officers' Academy is comprised of three houses. The Black Eagles is for students from the Adrestian Empire, including the house leader and future emperor, Edelgard. The Blue Lions boasts Prince Dimitri of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus as its house leader. This house is for students from his kingdom. The Golden Deer is for students from the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, who is the heir of the noble family that leads the Alliance. As a professor, you will lead the students of one of these houses and instruct them. In addition to the house leaders, there are many other students to meet, each with their own unique personalities and skills. Which house will you choose? Ah, oh, dang it. I have to choose. Students are expected to travel to various lands, sometimes with the Knights of Saros themselves, and gain real battle experience, including everything from defeating bandits to suppressing rebellions. These may be class assignments, but the stakes in each battle are very real. Whether your students live or die will depend on your leadership. Strategize as the battle progresses to claim victory. Dang it! At the officer's academy... Ferdinand. name of a character in Fire Emblem Echoes. Really good game, by the way. So basically, I have to choose one of the house, one of the three houses, like in Fire Emblem Fate. 
that's going to be a hard decision. Now, if there's three profiles on this game, like in Fire Emblem Fates, then it'll be easier for me, because I can choose one route in one profile, the second one in another, and then the third one in my third profile. So if I get Fire Emblem Three Houses, I'll be able to record maybe one chapter at a time and maybe a couple of side quests if there are side quests in this game to YouTube. So yeah, I think this game is going to be fun. Your students will work diligently each day so that they may wield a variety of weapons. Master the study of magic. Hmm. And acquire special skills such as horsemanship. You have been entrusted with their future, and it's up to you to guide each of them and help them hone their abilities. Through combat experience and study, you can help your students reach their full potential. So the class changes. Your students can also interact with each other at the academy, and by doing so, their bonds will strengthen, and they'll be able to better support each other on the battlefield. Your very own journey. Fire Emblem Three Houses will release on July 26th. No! I wanted that game before my birthday. Wait, wait. Oh, so, how does. Okay, Fire Emblem Three Houses Seasons of Warfare Edition. Complete with art book, sound selection, CD, steel book, and talent. <gasps> if this is a thing that you have to pre order, I am pre ordering it. So, how does it look? Originally, we announced that Fire Emblem Three Houses would release this spring, but more development time will be necessary. And so the new release date is July 26th. That means we'll have to ask you to wait a little longer. But we hope you'll look forward to the next generation of Fire Emblem all the same. Time for some more Nintendo Switch headlines. In this next entry of this iconic series, the last player standing wins. 99 players. But only one reigns supreme. Dang it! I hate these fuckers. This. Okay. <sighs> oh yeah. Uh. The funny thing is, the Fire Emblem game that that got me into the series was actually a demo of the first Fire Emblem game for the 3DS, Fire Emblem Awakening. But my first official Fire Emblem game was Fire Emblem Fates Conquest. Both great games, by the way. Oh man, I can't wait see what happens next in this direct. I just hate when it fuckers. So yeah, it's gonna take a bit. And I'm already out of coffee. Well, let's see if it's willing to... 
Tetris 99. The iconic puzzle game arrives with an online experience like no other. Nintendo Switch Online members can battle for dominance in this free-to-download game. If you're attacked with garbage, attack back to defeat the other 98 players and become the sole survivor. Nintendo Switch Online members, be ready to join the fight. Tetris 99 will be available for download later today. Look forward to battling it out in upcoming online events. I love the game. Prepare to kill, survive, or die in Dead by Daylight. Imagine this. You're alone, struck by fear, struggling to survive. And then you meet another survivor. But it's too late. The killer is upon you. Now run. Hide. Scavenge for items. Open the gates and escape with your life, or take on the role of the killer to make the so-called survivors your next victims. Terrifying? Oh yes. Satisfying? Just you wait. With loads of maps, characters, and cosmetics to earn, you'll experience a deep progression system while you're on the hunt or being hunted. Discover the true meaning of horror when Dead by Daylight creeps up on Nintendo Switch this fall. I'm not fall. getting that game. I'm not a horror game player. This dog will ruin your day. Ugh. That was a really bad time. Nintendo, I do not keep up for that. But this is kind of funny to me because, um, I thought to myself one day, what if the creator for Undertale, uh, said, or, or, I thought to myself one day, what if Toby Fox, the creator of Undertale, lets, uh, Nintendo, uh, create, uh, Nintendo Switch, uh, now for a message from the producer of the futuristic mech action game, Nintendo Switch uh, port of, um, er, of Delta Rune. Hello everyone, I'm Kinichiro Tsukura, producer of Damon X Machina, and I have seen Now this game looks interesting to me, but I'm not sure if I want it. We'll be releasing a demo called Damon X Machina Prototype Mission on Nintendo eShop for a limited time. The game is still in development, but in the demo oh. you can battle for four different missions. While I'm playing the basic controls and customizations uh, of your personal mech known as an arsenal. You can also experience the a the prototype mission for so Game X Machina to see what it's like. After playing the demo, we'd like to hear your feedback. We'll be conducting a short online survey by sending an email invite to some players who try out prototype missions. If you weren't selected for the survey, we also welcome your feedback via social media. We appreciate your feedback and hope to make this game the best it can be. So yeah, uh, we have I more might, to say about Damon uh, X Machina, so get the prototype mission then America Twitter account. Record so myself doing it on the latest doing those mission. missions. Damon X Machina should be launching this summer. See if, uh, Nintendo With that hear my feedback the development from this game. Team is working hard right now, so please stay tuned. Realistic racing is headed for Nintendo Switch. Grid Encore comes fully loaded with a mix of high-speed thrills, believable handling, and a difficulty level that scales to your skills. You'll feel like a pro racer as you master the world's fastest cars to win motorsports' most exhilarating races. From the prestigious circuit of Spa-Francorchamps to the narrow city streets of Barcelona, all DLC is included with 100 cars, 100 circuits, and some welcome additions like motion controls and custom controls. Players can race online or locally, and two players can race split screen on a single system. From street racing to demolition derby, when Grid Autosport speeds onto Nintendo Switch in summer 2019. Not sure the Enter the Viking Age to experience Senua's journey again, or for the very first time. Created in collaboration with neuroscientists and people who experience psychosis, Hellblade pulls players deep into the mind of Senua. 
This broken Celtic warrior will embark on a haunting vision quest through Viking Hell to fight for the soul of her dead lover. Hellblade has won multiple awards, including BAFTAs for performance, audio and artistic achievement, British Game and Game Beyond Entertainment. Find out why Hellblade Cinema Sacrifice releases on Nintendo Switch this spring. The Nintendo Switch lineup just keeps getting stronger. Mortal Kombat 11. Oh. The saga 25 years in the telling is far from over. With all new custom character variations, plus new characters and returning veterans taking up the fight. In a fresh new adventure, Unravel 2 sees players take control of two adorable Yarnies. Control both Yarnies on your own in single player, or play with a friend in local co-op for some puzzling platforming fun when Unravel 2 comes to Nintendo Switch March 22nd. For the first time on Nintendo Switch, experience Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered with revamped gameplay and features tailored to the system like motion aiming and touch input. Set in the American Revolution, explore one of the most iconic eras in history as you fight for freedom and independence and usher in the rise of a nation. I don't think All the I'm original downloadable there. content, plus the entire standalone game, Assassin's Creed Liberation Remastered, will be included when they launch together on May 21st. Final Fantasy fans, better open your calendars. We're excited to announce that Final Fantasy VII will find its new home on Nintendo Switch March 26th. We can also announce that Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon, Everybody, will release on March 20th. We're pleased to announce that Final Fantasy IX will journey onto Nintendo Switch later today. Once a classic, always a classic. That's all for today's Nintendo Switch headlines. How's everything looking? Well, Pretty exciting. More to share in this Nintendo Direct. Please stay with us until the end. Let's take a look, shall we? It would be a Xenoblade game, but probably not. How foolish. You people are leading all of humanity straight to damnation. Straight to damnation? You're the terrorist here! Whoa. My heart goes out to you too. All because of how you were born. Doomed to be used by those idiots until you die. Oh, Shame God. to your fate. Powerless. Today has been most revelatory. Finally, we're ready for the final stage. What the, the hell, hell are, are they? they? Why, Why did you make, make them? them? I really hoped you two wouldn't get caught up in all this. What you just witnessed is Astral Chain, a brand new action game in development at Platinum Games. It looked like two characters were fighting together during battle, didn't it? I hope you're excited to learn more about how combat will play out in this game. Please stay tuned. And speaking of Platinum Games, I'm sure you're very curious about Bayonetta 3. Rest assured, the developers of Bayonetta 3 are hard at work, and I hope you're looking forward to learning more. Our next title will be the last announcement of the day. Please check it out.
the Zelda game. Oh, oh gosh. What a way to start. I think this game looks like... Yeah. Oh my gosh. It looks like a cross between Nintendo Land and... Uh... <laughs> Nintendo Land and uh, The Legend of Zelda The Link Between Worlds. But it looks so cute! <laughs> what? Goombas are in this game too? <laughs> oh my god. So, what did you think? At long last, 1993's Game Boy classic, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, will find new life on Nintendo Switch. Oh my god. After 26 years, it has been reborn as a new experience, and we'll have more to say in the future. Please look forward to its release. That's all. Oh, I certainly do. Thank you so much for watching. So that's it, folks. That's uh, all of the games that were announced on the Nintendo Direct from last night. I hope I can still get Damon X Machina uh, prototype missions. So yeah, until next time, this is Joe Black.